ಶಿವನ can you tell me the types of applications types of application first application is web application it is a desktop application and its url is https://www.facebook.com and next web application window application it's it is used in desktop and its url https://facebook.exe5 and next mobile applications i android application android application its version is 12 to 13 and its url is facebook.apk next iphone application its version is 15 16.1.6 and it's a uh, it's and its url is facebook.ipk ne- next and last uh, application standalone application it is used without internet and examples excel ppt and powerpoint okay can you tell me the uh, about sdlc sdlc software development life cycle Okay. And it's a first phase is initial and analyzing development, testing, production, maintenance. And now coming to initial and uh, analyzing, it uh, it brings product owner brings required document and it is classified into three: BRS, FRS, and SRS. BRS stands for business requirement specification. FRS stands for functional requirement specification, and SRS stands for software or system requirement specification. Next, uh, coming to des- designing, it uh, it is divided into two types: high level designing, low level designing. High level designing, it is a blueprint, blueprint, and low level designing, it is a single page print. Next, coming to testing, testing, it is a uh, there are a number of type, there are a number of uh, testings. For example, smoke test, functional test, non-functional test. Next, in next phase, production. Here, there are two types: alpha and beta. Alpha means it is a uh, done within organization beta with clients next maintenance here developer and tester will be available will be there and because if we want to add any special features or alter delete your developer will return down code and tester will be testing the application okay. that's it you skip a development phase what you skip a development phase development oh sorry now i will tell Okay. Development. It uh, here hundred percent coding will be written down and it will be co- code. It will convert code hundred percent in user interface phase. Okay. Tell me about waterfall model. Waterfall model. It is a traditional approach. Traditional model. First initial near analyze okay. develop. What are the advantages of waterfall model? Advantages of waterfall mo- model. It is a traditional approach and uh, no more. Okay. What are the disadvantages? Disadvantages here uh, on a particular product only work will be done. Okay. I on a, and uh, on a agile model, a number of uh, required documents will be done at a time. Okay. Okay, as you said, agile model. Can mm-hmm. you tell me the workflow of agile model? Agile model, yeah. First, uh, first PO sign in. De- ready for develop, ready for refinement, ready for development, development in progress, peer review, peer review, ready for QA, QA in progress, PO sign off, close. Can I tell in detail? Yeah, you can tell. PO sign in. Here, a number of required, required documents will be available. In, in next phase, ready for refinement, here we will choose some particular required documents. In next, in next phase, ready for ready for development ready for development here developer name will be assigned in next phase developer in progress developer will developer work will be going on developer work will be going on 
be review here it will be reviewed by full stack developer none other than server team and in next phase ready for qa qa will be assigned here and in next phase ready for qa in development qa in progress sorry qa in progress qa work will be going on and the test they will be doing test cases test case execution will be done and next bugs will be reported in next phase po sign off here PO, PO will be sign off and they will give demo after okay. giving demo okay, he will okay. write a statement what is the sprint and uh, what is the du duration of sprint sprint duration is 2 weeks and uh, working days will be 10 days developer work only 6 days and tester will be doing work for 4 days that's oh. it okay uh, can you tell me uh, about the retesting retesting here if, if we if we detect any bugs then retesting will be done if any de if uh, detect any bug then it will be assigned to developer then the developer will work out on that bug then it will be resigned reassigned to tester then tester will be retesting that's it okay can you tell me what is the defect defect it is a it is a mistake done by the developer in writing the code okay okay Okay. How many environments do we have for a web application? Five. Five environments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why do we need hotfix environment? Hotfix for staging. Hotfix or stage? Hotfix or stage. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, in QA environment or in uh, stage environment, who will work? QA and uh, Tester. Tester will work. Yeah. Uh, in which environment the developer will work? A lot worker. The developer will work on which environments? Development. Only in development? Yeah. And maintenance. I'm asking about the environments. Oh, production, sorry. Production. And production, both. In both they will work. What about local environment? Local environment, here 100% code will be written down Who without do UI. Developer. Then he is also working in local yeah. environment. <laughs> Three places, sorry. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you very much.